Hi, I'm Dustin Hansen with Graywell Entertainment. And I'm Zane Pendleton with Graywell and the Salt Pot Media site. This is the Graywell Entertainment update for the release day of Tuesday, 9-17. A gigantic release day. So we're just going to jump right in, plow through all this. Um, there's some hip hop releases and a bunch of stuff and a bunch of metal. So Zane's going to talk for about an hour. So I'm going <laughs> to rip through a bunch of stuff and then let Zane talk. It's and like the best metal release day in, in a, a long very time. long time. <laughs> so I'm going to go through a lot of releases. Some of them will spend a little more time on them. Some of them I'll go over kind of fast. Yeah. There's so. way more than we could ever talk about in this video. So like sorry, sorry that we didn't go in depth on everything. We're just going to show you a lot and kind of yeah. move fast. So a couple of hip hop releases. First one is the uh, new album by Grayskull. It's called Zenith. Features Raekwon, Aesop Rock, uh, a bunch of other people on it. Very cool hip hop stuff on Fake Four Music. Um, any questions there? Give us a buzz. Uh, Self Made Volume 3, MMG Presents. This is everybody and their dog featuring. It's the Maybach Music Group. Rick, Wa Rick Ross, Wale, was it Wally? Wale. Wale. Meek Mill, Omarion, featuring J. Cole, French Montana, Lupe Fiasco, Little Boozy, Birdman. This is kind of. It's a big deal in the hip hop world, so or in the rap world. So come pick that up. Um, a couple interesting uh, releases that are electronic on first on Triangle Records, Four Swords. The album's called Engravings. Uh, really interesting. If you're familiar with Triangle Records, it's a label we like a lot. Bands like Hacks and Cloak, other ones like that. Really interesting. Experimental. Ambient. Electronic. Kind of yeah, lots of really interesting sounds. Good album. Check that one out. And then on DFA, this one sounds like an 80s 80s synth um, soundtrack to like a weird movie. Like if no. you walked into a club in, a, in an abandoned factory in the meatpacking district yeah. in New York in 1983. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it sounds like. So, but it's really cool though if you're into that retro synth yeah. stuff and all the dance music that's been coming out. It's on DFA. It's uh, Death From Above Records which is uh, James from LCD Sound Systems label. record label. Yep. So. And this, uh, this group's called Factory Floor. This is their first uh, album so check that one out. Um, Sacred Bones has a new release called uh, Crystal Stilts. You know, it's funny. There's on the a back. Typo on the yeah, back. they spelled it wrong on the back, yeah. unless it's spelled that way. It looks like a Y. Crystal Stilts. It's called Nature Noir, psyche, weird indie stuff, kind of lots of guitar drone, interesting stuff. So, Sacred Bones continues to release great stuff, really interesting uh, music. So, check that one out. Um, something I'm really into this week. It is a tribute to Alabama. And then when I say that, people laugh at me, at my, in my face. But Don't then. Pull away. When you listen to who's on this, it's pretty inc impressive. Um, it's done all covers of Alabama, classic Alabama songs featuring J.D. McPherson, Old Crow Medicine Show, Jason Isbell and John Paul White, Amanda Shires, Jessica Lee Mayfield, and her song on this is really pretty and slowed down, really cool. Uh, Lucero, Todd Snyder, Blind Boys Alabama, a bunch of stuff. Sounds like a joke, but it's not. An Alabama tribute record, and it's amazing. So pick this up. And you, any of that alt-country stuff I talked about, you know, if you bought the Isabella or the Amanta Shires, or if you're in Jessica Mayfield, this thing's great. Chris Caraba is back with a new band called Twin Forks. Chris Caraba from Dashboard Confessional, of course. Uh, this is a new EP uh, just called Twin Forks EP. So pick that one up. And the Dirt Bombs have a new record. Dirt Bombs are a fun R&B soul rock band. This album is called Ooey Gooey. Chewy Kablooey. It's basically <laughs> like 60s bubblegum pop. They're covering a bunch and you know, kind of making it their own. Very, very cool. Um, alt country stuff. Lucy Rose on 30 Tigers. Uh, I love this record like I used to. Kind of female singer, alt country stuff. Very, very pretty. And then Jonathan Rice. Jenny and Johnny, you know, you're familiar with that. You know, Jenny Lewis. This is her man. And this is his new album. It's called uh, Good Graces. So those are both two really good releases. Should I just rip through the rest of these? Might as well. Sure. Elvis Costello and The Roots have an album together. It's called Wise Up Ghosts and Other Songs on Blue Note Records. Um, it sounds exactly what you think it would sound like. It's Elvis Costello with The Roots. Really, really interesting. Very cool. Uh, nice. Rig Saves the Day is back with another record on Equal Vision. Saves the Day hasn't had an album out in a few years, but uh, they're back together. This is their eighth studio album. Um, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> I remember being young and everyone telling me how great this band was. So they've been around a while. Eighth, eighth new album. A new placebo. It is called Loud Like Love. And we do have this on vinyl, too, at our University of Utah location. So this one's there. Um, Naked and the Famous are back with a new album called In Rolling Waves. Mike Dowdy, he has a new record called, wow, Circles Super Bon Bon, and then a bunch of other writing. I'm not going to read all that to you. But Mike <laughs> Dowdy, Soul Coughing, Mike Dowdy, really big around here in Salt Lake, very popular here. So that's a new album from him. 
Sponge. Anybody remember the mid-90s? Sponge is back on the end records with a whole new album. Five for Fighting has got another album out called Bookmarks. Johnny Lang has a new album out called Fight for My Soul. Everyone loves Johnny Lang with his cute short haircut instead of having long hair. He's back. Um, the Mission, which is known as The Mission UK, they have a uh, two-disc deluxe version of this and a regular uh, album. It's called The Brightest Light. Um, I don't really have to talk about The Mission much. If you're a Mission UK fan, you know what you're getting into that. And then Berlin is back. Yes, that Berlin. Take My Breath Away, Riding on the Metro. Album features Terry, is it Terry Nooney is it, or Terry Nunn? That's her, the voice of all those other classic songs. All new album, 11 new tracks and one remix. So there you go, Berlin fans. Yep. So tons of metal. I'm going to go through some of these faster, spend a little more time on some of them. And uh, in no particular order of greatness or anything. Um, first up, uh, new album from Wolf Serpent. It's Wolf with a V. Um, this is actually in Relapse Records, which we always talk about. The album is called Paragea Antikarana. I'll spell it for you in the description. Um, these guys are from Boise, Idaho. It's kind of like for fans of Wolves in the Throne Room. Um, it's got that atmospheric nature, nature-isk sound to it. But it's uh, doom mixed with drone with strings and atmospheric stuff. There's like one intro track and four tracks on this after that that are all between 15 and 20 minutes long. So you kind of know what you're getting into with this, but it's very, very good. Um, there's Eyes Set to Kill coming out. The new album is called Masks. Eyes Set to Kill is the two sister girls that are singers for this metallic post-hardcore band. Um, some people say it's kind of a gimmick, the girl singers. Other people say that they're actually better than the gimmick. But if you're into that metallic, you know, post-hardcore, warp tour type stuff, then this is your jam. Jam. This is out on Profound Lore. We also always talk about the band is called Grave Miasma. And the album is uh, Odori Sepulchrorum, so some Latin for you. This is like blackened <laughs> death metal um, stuff. That's Zane obviously good. failed Latin. Yeah. That's why they took it out of high school. It's a dead language, bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, also out on Relapse, Ulcerate. The album is called Vermis. Um, Ulcerate, recommended if you like Gorguts, Portal, Death Spell, Omega, Spawn of Possession, Nile, Decrepit Birth, Psychroptic. Um, it's technical death metal, and it's very, very good. Very good technical death metal so check that out guar has a new album called battle maximus if you know about guar you're stoked if you don't care about guar you'll never know don't worry out. about it <laughs> <laughs> um radio radio hard rock band tantric has a brand new album called 37 channels um this is just i mean if you're a fan of that, that band a lot of that like uh Hard rock stuff that was popular a few years ago has kind of faded away a little bit, but a lot of those bands have still come out with albums recently, and Tantric has a new album here. Cult of Luna released an amazing album a little while ago called Vertical. This is Vertical 2. This is four previously unreleased tracks from the same studio sessions, the same recording sessions. Um, it's got three tracks, Oro, Light Chaser, and Shun the Mask, and then a fourth track called Vicarious Redemption that is remixed by Justin K. Broderick from Godflesh, Jesu. Um, all that cool stuff. So very it's cool. Very very good. And if you didn't listen to Vertical when it first came out by Cult of Luna, do yourself a favor and go listen to it because I don't know how many times I played that. Pick them both up. I They're awesome. Wore it out. So uh, for prog rock fans, prog metal fans, there's a new band called well, not a new band, but a new album uh, from Hacken called The Mountain. Um, this is uh, it says it combines smart brick rock, sort beautiful melodies and soaring vocals, but it's progressive metal. Um, for fans of Devin Townsend, Opeth, Symphony X, and Dream Theater. So, if you're into that. Satyricon has a brand new album, the Norwegian black metal band. Um, they've been around for a really long time. They've had a steady release schedule of every couple of years. There's a new Satyricon. Um, it's very, very good. It's cool. I really dig it. And it's got some, uh, it's got three bonus tracks on this, actually, some remixes of some of the tracks on it. So, it's out on Nuclear Blast. Um, out on Metal Blade new album from Tyr, T-Y-R. The name of the album is Valkyria. Um, Tyr's like heroic Viking black metal. Uh, they come from the Faroe Islands up in the, you know, they're Scandinavian and um, the vocals are clean. Those clean, strong, heroic vocals. Uh, really fast, really catchy, big strong choruses. Um, really good stuff and really cool cover art too. Perfect so. soundtrack for your LARPing weekend. <laughs> yeah. And then a uh, local band from Utah that is actually signed to Profound Lore. They've been getting attention in Decibel Magazine, and they're becoming a really big deal. they got a um, nine in the new Decibel, which will be out next yeah. week. Yeah. 
Sub Rosa has a new album called More Constant Than the Gods. Um, it's a follow-up to their 2011 album that came out um, on Profound Lore as well. Uh, it has amazing artwork. It's an amazing album. It's uh, kind of a mix. It's a mixture of doom, uh, folk, kind of has a shoe metal, feel. kind of shoegazy. Basically, there's there's guitars, really heavy guitars, really heavy drums and bass, and then there's violins, and then they also add in some other instruments. And um, there's only six tracks on this, but they're really long crusher tracks. And Sub Rosa is fantastic. Like I mentioned, they're from Salt Lake City, and they're blowing up right now. Andy and Patterson is featured on drums on this album. Yeah, Andy Patterson produces tons of records uh, for tons of bands that are local and otherwise. He's and, one of our local heroes. Yeah, and he's actually in the band drumming on this, and he produced it. So um, please check that out. Um, they're an awesome band, and you have a good chance of being able to see them locally. And too. the vinyl will be out um, about a month after. It's, it has been solicited. It just doesn't come out day and date, so it comes out about a month later. So you'll be able to get that in the stores as well. Yeah. And also uh, some stuff that we've got on vinyl as well as CD. The Devil Wears Prada has a brand new album. Uh, 818 is the name of the album. Uh, so if you're a fan of Devil Wears Prada, there you go. And that's all we have to say about that. Yeah. Uh, refused has a re, uh, reissue of their EP Everlasting. This is the first time in over a decade it's been printed. There's only 5,000 copies of this on vinyl. So if you're a Refused fan, you pretty much owe yourself. You got to come pick this up. So come and get it. Quickly, because there's not many left. Yeah. Um, this is a new release, also on Relapse Records from Windhand. Uh, the name of the album is Soma. Windhand is uh, newly signed to Relapse. They've had a self-release. They had a smaller released uh, self-titled album that's already out. But this, I would say, is for fans of like bands like Electric Wizard, kind of that funeral doom, uh, gloomy sounding. You know, just really heavy, crushing psychedelic metal stuff. Right. So well, we have it on CD as well. It's awesome, and the vinyl package is really cool. The vinyl on that is really amazing, colored. Um, and then my absolute favorite thing that came out this week is the brand new Carcass album, Surgical Steel. It's finally out. Uh, Carcass is back from the dead. It's been 12, from, 15 years. Yeah, it's been a very, very long time. And uh, this album is like they never went anywhere. It's like after hard work, they just came out with another album that was that was amazing. Uh, Swan Song never happened. So anyway. Um, it's amazingly good if you're a fan of that 90s death metal sound. Check it out. Original lineup, everything's there. And uh, the vinyl is an awesome package. There's a there's a CD version and then there's a deluxe Digipack CD version that features a bonus track as well with a little bit more artwork featured inside. So Some great metal releases. Yeah. Um, we got a handful more of vinyl to show you. All these I'm going to show you come on CD as well, so I don't have to keep mentioning that. So everything I show you from here until the movies is on CD as well. Mark Lanigan has a new al album out called Imitations. It is a covers record. It has three new songs and then a bunch of covers of his favorite songs, things he likes. You know Mark Lanigan from Queens of the Stone Age and originally from Screaming Trees. He has one of those great deep baritone voices that is uh, unmistakable. So um, if you're a Lanigan fan, there's a new Lanigan release for you. Very cool. MGMT has a new album out, continuing in their, their descent into psych rock, acid rock, weird electronic mix stuff. I mean, it's not catchy like their first record it's still not going to be catchy but it's actually i think this is a big improvement over the one they released before congratulations yeah and, and that one kind of alienated a lot of fans and made it go like what is this but this continuing that kind of flaming lips vein i like you know if you like that stuff i think you really like this new mgmt it's self-titled and we have it on vinyl and cd and i don't need it to keep saying that try to pre preface that sebado has a new record called defend yourself it's nice to see sebado back um triumphant return um includes a download in this yeah, this is the indie only exclusive version that has uh, it's colored vinyl, it's red vinyl with a bonus seven. Oh yeah, it does have a there bonus There is seven a inch. there is a non indie exclusive version of this that we also have, but if you can get it from us, you should because you can only get it at stores like Graywell. Yeah. So. Support local and get your free seven inch inside. What's this one? Islands have a new ma album out. Uh, it's called Ski, Ski Mask. Mask. Um, I'm not super familiar with Islands, but a lot of people are really into them and. This album is supposedly really good. We have one of our employees up front today, actually. Megan told me she thinks it's great. So come see Megan. You want to talk about islands. We've got that for you. New left lane cruiser. It's called uh, Rock Them Back to Hell. Really funny, cool redneck uh, zombie artwork. It's on Alive Records, which is the same record label as a lot of other like blues and soul, rock and roll type stuff, like the Black Keys have had releases on Alive. Um, 
JC is JC Brooks on there? No, no. Uh, there's the there's what's the Henry's funeral shoe stuff yeah, like that. There's there's a lot of great like bluesy rock and roll stuff. This is a two piece. They just rock and roll and like Freddie plays guitar, vocals, bass, Fender, Rhodes organ, and then the other guy does drums and trash. So <laughs> figure that out. <laughs> Next one is a new album by Group Love, indie. Darlings, this is a limited edition indie only white vinyl. We have it all locations, so that's a very cool. Um, it, I don't know what else to tell you about this. Yep. It's called Spreading Rumors. Group Love gets a lot of radio play on uh, like X96 and stuff like that. And uh, so if you're a fan, <coughs> new album is out. And we have some stuff to give away with it too. Interesting hip song. This stuff's on, it, they used to be on Anticon, but now they're on Joyful Noise. It's a group called uh, Y. The new album's called Golden Tickets. It's a seven song album, EP, whatever you want to call it on 10-inch uh, vinyl with the download, limited edition vinyl pressing, or also on CD. Very cool. Uh, I don't really know, I mean, Y is good. If you like Y, you'll know what they are. And then, last but not least for music, uh, Jack Johnson is back. Mr. Hawaii himself, recorded with Solar Energy. It says that on the back of this, just so you know. Uh, for you people, it features a song featuring Ben Harper. Uh, what is the album called? From Here, Now, what? From Here to Now to You. New Jack Johnson on vinyl and CD. So get get yourself in here for some shoeless guitar fun. Anything else you can say about Jack Johnson? No, I mean like if it's your if it's not your thing, you're not gonna you know fall in love with him on this record. But if you are a fan of Jack Johnson, like and you really enjoy all the stuff that he puts out, this is yeah. you definitely need to come. To I like what he does. Stuff. The fact that he has his own studio and he does all his own recording and he does all. He's of a really his own. super down to earth dude. If you ever watch any interviews with him or you know like watch any films that he's been involved with, like surf documentaries and stuff that he's done, he's a really cool guy. So if you're into that sort of thing, kind of the end of summer, you can come pick that up and have a last hurrah before it snows next <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember too, this is just a small sampling of everything that's coming out. Release day is huge, so come into the stores, check it out, and also while you're here, talk to the employees about the new release schedule, and they can kind of look and flip through the spreadsheet of everything we have coming out for the next month. We're usually a month out, we always talk about that, so you can kind of gauge what we're, ha what we're gonna get in and what we're missing, and you can kind of tell us what we need to get. All right, we're gonna hop into some movies. These are all on Blu-ray and DVD available. Um, Behind the Candelabra, Steven Soderbergh's made for HBO movie, starring uh, Michael Douglas as Liberace, has some incredible performances by Scott Bakula, Rob Lowe, Dan Aykroyd, um, a bunch of fun stuff. So if you haven't seen this on HBO, here's your chance to come pick it up. But if you get a chance to see it, it's very well, it's very worth seeing. It's a very interesting movie. And apparently it's the last thing Steven Soderbergh's going to do. Apparently, yeah. He kind of quit. He's retired. That. He's retiring after that, which, whatever. But, we'll see. Yeah. The Bling Ring, Sofia Coppola's new movie is out on Blu-ray and DVD, uh, starring Hermione. What's her name? Emma Watson. Thank you. And it's a, a bunch of other girls bunch of celebrity obsessed girls and guys that uh, they track where celebrities are filming they go break into their houses and then things spin out of control quickly so you know figure it out from there world war z is out the much maligned much loved kind of <laughs> you either love it or hate it success yeah, i've heard everything in the world about it from from it's amazing it's the best zombie movie ever to what a piece of crap why well, I wasted my time watching it. Um, I actually did see it and actually thought that it was pretty good. It has stuff to add to the zombie genre. And uh, visually, it's really cool. It's really intense in certain parts. You can kind of see where they've done their reshoots and they've kind of changed things around a little bit. And, and so it's not always consistent. But it's, uh, it's still a really fun movie to watch. And if you're into horror films and zombie stuff, you kind of just have to watch it. So you can at least check it off of your list. Yep. So. And if you like... Um, <clears throat> Zombie Ant Hills. <laughs> this is for you. We have it on Blu-ray, 3D, Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy. We have it on a Blu-ray, DVD combo pack, and on DVD. So it's kind of out on every every possible way. A couple TV series that are out this week: um, Bates Motel, which was on uh, A&E, starring Vera Farmiga as the mother. As in Bates. Mother. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm choking. <clears throat> and anyway. So check it out, and it's got the one, it's got the creepy kid who's grown up. Freddie Highmore. Yeah. I've actually heard really good things about Bates Motel. I'm looking forward to the fact that it's out now because I haven't been able to watch it yet, and uh, I, I've heard people really actually enjoy it. Which, for a TV show based on an Alfred Hitchcock film that's decades old, you would think that it would automatically be terrible, but it's actually not, and people have really enjoyed it and really talked a lot about it. So there you go. 
And then Arrow from the CW, is that what this is on? Yeah. Uh, DC fully endorses this show. Um, they're introducing, the news just came out, they're going to introduce The Flash through this show, which will actually link to the Justice League movie. Yeah, the show, the show apparently is so good that it's actually going to link into the Justice League plans that they have for everything. And there's rumors that this dude that plays the Arrow on this TV show is actually going to be playing him in the film. So, I mean, it's not just... Uh, it's not like Smallville, where it's kind of disconnected from the DC Universe. Arrow is very connected to the DC Universe and is uh, apparently really good, especially if you're a fan of the superhero or DC Comics. I haven't heard anything bad, basically, about yeah. Arrow. Due to marketing, they took the word green off of it, and they just call it Arrow, but it's based on the green arrow. So yeah. there's your hero. Um, there's a handful of reissues on Blu-ray that have never been out before or have been um, done separately. These are the Universal final wave of the Universal Monsters. They did a full box set of all the you know remastered, redone, digitally restored uh, classic monster movies. These are the last four to come out separately now. So you get Bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Wolfman, kind of the four classics. All the other ones, Creature and Invisible Man, they've all went out before. Or you can still find them all in one big box set that has them all together. But these are all very, very cool. The you know, artwork's classic, and they clean them all up digitally. They look really good. Yeah, they look really good. And the, the cool... Shout Scream Factory, the Shout Factory things we always talk about. Their Scream Factory division has taken Day of the Dead and uh, the original George A. Romero classic and remastered it, cleaned it up. New high def transfer, new artwork on the box. Very, very cool. This is a good movie. Um, it's the third film in the saga behind Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead. It's kind of the, the, the feature or the, the sequel to those. So pick this up. Very cool. And last but not least, a video game that we have on street date. We will have it by what time you watch this movie. Tuesday morning, it'll be in stores, so you don't have to worry about waiting until Wednesday like normal. Grand Theft Auto V on PS3 and Xbox 360. Yep, so arguable contender for game of the year up against Bioshock Infinite, The Last of Us. It's been an amazing year for video games, and this is just the icing on the cake before the holiday season. So um, everyone's clamoring to get this. Graywell will have plenty of copies of this in both formats. Yeah. So we've Most been, people do. prepared for it. The so. big heavy gamers, obviously, we're always a day late with our shipments and stuff because it's just the way it is with the industry. We're low on the totem pole when it comes to that. But everyone that didn't, pre-order it or can't get it pre-ordered or can't go still go get it from GameStop or any of those places, come to us because we've got them sitting here. At every single one of our locations. So come and get it. And keep in mind that there is an 8 gig install uh, required for the game. So if you have a 4 gig Xbox Slim, you got to get a hard drive before you before you can play. We sell those so, used too. Yeah. So come come get us. We'll take care of you. We'll <laughs> hook you up. So. Uh, Giant stuff. I mean, huge release day, like we said. There's still a ton of things we didn't talk about. There's more movies, lots of other vinyl and lots of other music releases. So come in and see us. Ask about what we've got going on. And this Saturday, as a reminder, the 21st of September, we are doing our Killer Well Appreciation Barbecue, our second to last one, up at the university location from noon to 4. That's 208 South, 1300 East. Uh, we'll be there cooking burgers. You might see Zane and myself both up there running around. So come have a burger have some fun, and then as a, also a second reminder of an event that's happening this week on the 18th, hopefully you see this video before then, you, you see will. This, if you see this on Tuesday, um, on Wednesday, we're gonna have Cage the Elephant doing an, a, a special acoustic in-store performance before their show that night uh, with Muse. So they'll be here and uh, they'll play a special um, yeah. acoustic set. Pre-order of the album setting. is required. You get a wristband, you get a lithograph, limited edition lithograph, and a free seven inch to have them sign at the signing. And then when you, the album comes out, obviously you can come pick up your record. Yeah. So, so if you're a fan, get in here. We have 400, 400 wristbands available. We've already gone through a bunch of them. So you don't delay. If you hit, see this video, and come immediately after work. To try not to wait till the last minute. But uh, we'll have availability up until about the performance is at 6 o'clock on Wednesday, so come see us. And as always, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at GraywellSLC. Yep, and remember to go to saltpop.net for all the updates on our video game streams, reviews, posts, podcasts, everything. Yeah, I mean, constantly have everything you can imagine, and we're just getting more and more stuff, getting ready for holidays, so don't be a dick and shop local. <laughs>